Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can add basic gamification to your LearnDash courses using their achievements add-on. So gamification is a concept that you hear quite a lot in e-learning. And the idea is that you incentivize little things that happen in your platform with achievements. And these might be little things that pop up here and there when you do certain things. And the idea is that incentivizes the users, gives them a little dopamine hit you know, when they uh, see one of these and just encourages them to keep going with their courses or keep using your platform. So what we'd do is add these two certain things on the platform, like completing a course or being you know, added to a group or something like that. And what we can add is a page where a user can see all of the achievements that they have been given. So what we're going to do first is head to the dashboard and go to Learn-LMS and then add-ons. And this is just another free add-on from the um, creators of Learn Dash. So we can see we've got it here. What I'm going to do is actually delete that first, just to show you how you can add that. So when you come to this page, if you don't already have it, it will be in this available section here. Learn Dash LMS achievements, and it says it awards badges and points to use for the successful completion of Learn Dash and WordPress activities. So let's give that um, a go now. We'll install it. And once you've done that, you can click on this plug icon here to activate it. And then if we refresh the page, what we'll see under the Learn Dash side navigation here is this achievements option. And it comes pre-installed with an example badge. And if we click into this, we'll see what a badge looks like. And um, so you can you know, add a message when the person achieves it. You can set what triggers that badge to be earned. And you can also set some points that the user will achieve uh, you know, as, as part of receiving that if you want to. So let's go through the process of setting this up in a sort of real context. What I'm going to do first is head back to achievements here. And what I want to do is create a achievements page. So to do this, I'm going to go to the short codes tab here. And what I want to do is copy this short code here called LD My Achievements. And this is a short code which it says displays a list of a log logged in users achievements. So I'm going to go to new and create a page. And I'm going to call this my achievements. And that's the title of it. And then all I'm going to do is paste in that short code and then click publish. And now we've got our basic achievements page. And I think as an admin, um, I get all the achievements by default so we can see what they look like but basically it looks like this you know you, you would see a list of all the achievements that you've received and you can hover over them and see what they're called so my badge is the one that comes pre-installed now by default they're quite small um, so what I'm going to do is head back to learn dash LMS and then achievements and then we've got this settings option here where we can tweak some of the options here so we can say you know, how many seconds um, the pop-up appears for so that's that I think um, and we can see the background color and the text color of these um, achievements as well and we can change the uh, text orientation uh, for uh, how it appears but what I wanted to do there was change this to maybe I don't know 150 pixels or maybe a slightly smaller 100 pixels um, and that will just make it so that these badges, as they appear on the page, are just a bit bigger. So depending on the, the number of badges you want to have here, you know, you might uh, tweak the, the size of that there. But we can see that we've got this My Badge, and um, I've achieved that, and I would see this in my Achievements page. What I'm going to do here quickly is just add that My Achievements page to the top navigation, 
So I'm just going to add it to the menu here so that it's in there for anyone who does this course or does a course and achieves a, you know, one of the uh, achievements. So let's go ahead and create our own badge now. So what I might do is just get rid of that you know, built-in badge there, uh, just move it to the to the bin there, empty that out. And then we're now starting with a blank canvas. So what I'm going to do is click add new achievement up here and I'll say, um, let's find the name of one of the courses. Right, so there's one there, completed and then the name of the course, this Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana. And I'll just say, well done. You've completed the Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana course. And that will be the message that pops up when someone completes it. Under the trigger here, we can see that there's actually quite a few different triggers that you can have where people can earn achievements. So there's even ones that are just based on registering onto WordPress or logging in or you know, just very basic things here if you wanted them. But uh, the one I want to do is when someone completes a course and I will choose the Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana course, you can say that it only applies to certain groups. So if you add a group here, then you can say only people in this certain group can achieve this. And if you want to set up things like leaderboards, uh, which is possible via this plugin, you can also add things like points and set the number of occurrences where people can actually achieve this. So if there was some scarcity you wanted to build into these badges so that only 10 people achieve them, then you can add that here as well. What we also do is choose an image for the badge. So it comes built in with a few basic images here and uh, you can also upload your own. So I can see I've got one that would work quite well for a badge there. So I'm just going to add, add that and then click publish. And I think, yeah, I might be wrong, but as a uh, admin, I might see, oh no, I, I actually do need to achieve that badge. So um, what I will do is just achieve that myself. So I'm going to um, complete this Seek Health with Yoga Satana course, and you'll see what happens when we do that. So I'm going to go to the course, and this is a course that's just got some basic uh, dummy content in, so I'm just going to mark it all as complete. Mark as complete. And then I think this is the last one. So look in the top right hand corner here when I do this mark as complete, because you'll see that I actually earn this badge now. So it pops up, it says completed Seek Health with Yoga Sadhana. And it says, well done. It's got the message that I put in there basically. So the title of the badge and the message there appears. So that's just a little thing that pops up when people do certain things and it just um, yeah helps in incentivize them. And now if I head to my achievements on this page, I have that one here. And if I hover over it, it shows the, um, the name of that achievement that I've uh, received there. So here you find that useful. It's just a nice little way to um, cheer the people along, along your courses and keep them engaged in your platform. And um, if you did like the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.